Well, hello. I'm going to introduce and tell you what our next project is, but I just wanted to point out that uh, I think most of you know that on top of any of the Google Classrooms under Classwork here, uh, you will see my Bitmoji Classroom. So there's a couple things I'm going to show you on here to introduce our next project. So if you click on the Bitmoji Classroom, I will click Present. And once it comes up, hopefully you've clicked around and checked some things out. But if not, I'm going to do it for you. So we're going to talk about a famous artist. Uh, if you click on any of these guys and girls, um, you will learn a lot about them. And there's videos linked that tell you about them. But we're going to talk about this guy down here, Romero Brito. And he is originally from Brazil, living in Miami, Florida now. So he's alive. A lot of times we talk about dead artists, but here is someone that is living and continuing to create art right now. You might recognize some of these designs and patterns. Uh, they are on a lot of things right now. A lot of objects, phone cases, luggage, you know, coffee cups, uh, you know, Disney characters. Uh, Barbie dolls, uh, cars, all types of things. So what I'm going to do right now, actually, to introduce him is play a video. Actually, I'm going to play a couple videos. When you click on these objects, uh, different videos will play. Uh, so I'm going to actually show them to you so we can discuss them. And then I'm going to tell you how we're going to do an art project kind of inspired by his style of drawing in color. So let's play this first one. These are the works of Romero Brito. They're joyful, simple, and you may start to notice they're all over the place. But who is Romero Brito? And how did he become so prolific that he is the most licensed artist in history? Let's start with the basics. Romero Brito is an artist, more specifically a contemporary artist who blends pop art with cubist-like abstraction. And the subject matters that I do, it's very simple, very direct, and I'm very consistent on my colors. And then the lines, the stripes, the little things that I put in my work that is part of my vocabulary. He was born in Brazil to a big family, and growing up was pretty tough. My mother had like 12 kids. I wanted to get out of the house because it was chaotic. And little did he know, art would become his ticket out. Since I was a kid, I always liked drawing, but I never knew that it would change my life. At age 25, he moved to Miami, where pop art was flourishing. I was like, you know what, I love America, I love Miami particularly because it's such a dynamic city. With no formal art training, he would paint on newspapers and on the streets, the only canvases he could afford. Before I show my work in galleries, I show my work on the sidewalk of Miami. He was able to move into a small studio, soon getting his first brand deal with Absolute Vodka. And from there, his career took off. Disney, Coca-Cola, Mattel, Samsung, luggage, lamps, watches, bananas. If you can slap a print on it, odds are there's a Brito version of it. His sculptures are in train stations, shopping plazas, hotels, corporate headquarters. The guy has done the Super Bowl, the World Cup, and the Olympics. So yeah, Romero Brito is everywhere. How many pieces of art I've done? Oh my God, listen. You know, it's pretty hard to keep track of it. Hundreds? A few thousands. To keep the business going, he's hired dozens of employees, and the scale of the operation is staggering. Well, people say that I'm the most licensed artist in history, so I'm very honored for that because it means that my work is reaching out millions of people. I just don't want my art to be enjoyed by the elite of the world, but I want my art to be enjoyed by the masses as well. But nevertheless, Romero's art has caught the attention of celebrities and heads of state all over the world. All those pieces are here, are prototypes, and a trillion dollars. <laughs> People tend to say that if you're colorful and you're fun, you're not serious. But I do think we all searching for happiness. And to help others see this happiness, Romero's company has donated to over 250 charities, including the Holtz Children's Hospital in Miami. If we see all the time darkness, when is going to be the moment of brightness? 
everything about my work is things that I think is very pleasing to my eyes and to my heart and make me feel good because life should be about fun. So yes, he is a fun artist. Now going back to this screen. If you click on this bear, there's another video about him. And if you click on this apple, there's another video about him. I'm not going to play them right now, but you are going to have to play them because after you do this assignment, I'm going to have a Google quiz, a little, little questionnaire quiz about him. And all the answers in the quiz are found in these videos. So you will have to watch those. They're only a couple minutes each. So after you've done this assignment uh, for me, uh, I would rewatch the one we just did maybe, you know, and click on the bear, click on the apple, and other videos will come up. I'm not going to play them right now, but they're there, okay? And you'll have to watch those to find the answers. Now, I'm going to show you in a minute here uh, an example of how to do this work uh, and this project, but if you click on this, cat and dog or butterfly, there's other teachers that will give you a little step-by-step -step on how to do this project too. And if you want to follow along and do their example, you can. Um, so just let you know that is available. So what I'm going to show you now is a little demonstration. Let me present this. Um, I'm actually going to show you one more quick video clip. So he really became popular after the 2007 Super Bowl. Now, obviously, he was already popular, very, very popular in Miami. That's where he is living now. Uh, so in 2007, Super Bowl halftime show was all inspired by him and his artwork. Obviously, since it was in Miami and he's a Miami artist. So let me just show you this really quick. It's less than a minute a little clip of the halftime show starting um, with his artwork. The Super Bowl today on CBS Sports. And welcome back to Dolphin Stadium, everyone. It's Cirque du Soleil has teamed up with internationally acclaimed Miami pop artist Romero Brito who has captured the culture of South Florida with his extraordinary style. So pretty cool that he, the whole halftime show was designed with his artwork. So, you know, the people were dressed up and painted to look like his paintings and it was pretty cool. Um, so a lot, a lot of people found out about him after this uh, halftime show and really his artwork did to kind of explode after that. So we are gonna do a Romero Brito inspired design. Um, so let me show you, uh, I have to bring it up. Actually, those are all my screencastify recordings. So actually I have to go to my Google Drive. I thought I had it open, but I'm gonna open it real quick here, my Google Slides. Okay, we're gonna open this up right here and present. Okay, so I showed you that. Look what I drew, a little Among Us character. So what the style of art that he does is called pop art. And it's called pop art because he draws characters that are popular in the culture right now. So you are going to draw any character that you want. Obviously, I just drew this little Among Us character because he is quite popular right now. And But you can draw anything. You can draw a cartoon character, your favorite cartoon character, another video game character, a sport related image like a football or a soccer ball or a baseball or whatever. You can draw your favorite animal. 
any simple object. It could be a coffee cup. It could be a, you know, a can of Coca-Cola. Uh, anything that we use in our popular culture right now. You can draw a simple line um, drawing of that, a simple outline of that. That's all you need. You don't want any detail inside because we're going to be putting Romero Brito inspired designs inside of it. So that's step one. Decide on what simple uh, character you want to draw or object that you want to draw. Uh, step two is use a ruler to draw some straight lines or some curved lines to divide up the design and the paper. I would say between five and ten. Now in school we're going to use 12 by 18 paper uh, but at home if you don't have that size you can just use uh, computer paper you know whatever you have and he had even said in the video that he he didn't have paper growing up he did it on a piece of newspaper or a piece of cardboard so you know if you want to make art you do it on whatever you have available so you know the back of you know cut up a back of a cereal box and you know draw or paint on that so really whatever you got is fine so after you divide up the paper you don't want your sections to very small. You want to have spaces to put the designs in. Um, I will have this attached, uh, a sheet that you can print out if you want, or you can look here when you're drawing. To These are all typical designs that he has used in his creations. So you'll see these patterns over and over again. They're quite popular. So you can pick from these ideas, or you can make up your own. Um, but really, it's the it's the fact that you repeat the pattern um, in the different sections. Once you've picked your patterns that you want to use, you're going to put them in each section. You can see how each, once you divide these spaces up, you create different sections. Every time a line overlaps, it creates a new section. So you're going to put a different pattern in each section. And then you're going to color it. Uh, you can use, I use markers on this one. You can use colored pencils. If you have paints to use and you want to paint, you can paint it. If you paint, you might have to then re-go over uh, the lines again with a black marker, uh, and that's okay. Uh, and I actually, even with the marker that I colored, I actually had to go back over some of the lines with the black marker again. Um, just make sure that you color nice and solidly. Um, Try to pay attention to balance. Uh, if you put, you can leave some white, for example, but I left some white up here, I left some white over here, and here, and here. I didn't do it all on one side. You know, I have some black over here, solid black, black here, so at the bottom. I have yellow at the top, yellow down here, yellow at the bottom. I tried to balance that. So don't have all your light colors on one side and all your dark colors on the other, or all one color on, you know, on one side. So try to separate that. But that's it. Um, so it is a fun project. It's a simple project, but it looks really cool when you are done. Uh, so I will post this video. I will post uh, the slideshow separately. And I'm also going to post uh, the Google form when you're done with this project. You can do it anytime uh, with some questions about Romero Brito. But like I said, there's three videos on that Google Classroom, Bitmoji Classroom slide that you will have to watch in order to find the answers. So go ahead and you know, watch it and write the answers down when you, when you hear them, and that will be fine. Okay, so good luck. Can't wait to see everything that you do. Let me know if you have any questions.